everyone, it's Miss Plever. Today's Wednesday and we have another math CGI problem for you. Remember, I'm going to say the problem twice and then you'll need to tell somebody in your house what the problem was in your own words. All right, here's the problem. Alyssa had some seashells. She found 87 more. Now she has 123 seashells. How many seashells did Alyssa have to start with? Okay, remember you're making that movie in your head? I'm gonna read it again. Alyssa had some seashells. She found 87 more. Now she has 123 seashells. How many seashells did Alyssa have to start with? Now you have one minute without looking to tell someone in your house what happened in the story. This helps you make sense of the story. Go ahead and pause the video so you can go tell someone what happened in the story. Great job. Now that you know what the story is and it makes sense to you, you're gonna have your eight minutes of work time. Remember the problem was Alyssa had some seashells. She found 87 more. Now she has 123 seashells. How many seashells did Alyssa have to start with? Go ahead and use your paper to solve. Set a timer for eight minutes. If you finish one way to solve it, try another way. Check your work, make sure you're right. Go ahead and pause the video now so you can work. I hope you used all of that work time. If you've already solved the problem, check your work by solving it a different way. Use another strategy. Time to solve the problem. Pause the video if you're not ready yet. Remember, we always start with our equation. So Alyssa had some seashells. We don't know how many seashells she had. She had some. Then she found 87 more. If she found 87 more, am I going to add or subtract? Hmm, she found more, so she got more. So I know that's add. She got 87 more. Now she has, that's my end, now she has 123 seashells. So she had some, she got 87 more, and now she has 123. So we need to figure out how to solve this. What I need to think about here is if I'm missing my part or my whole. I know when I add that I have a part and another part, I put them together and I make my whole. So I'm missing my part. When I'm missing my part, I need to subtract because I already have my whole. So here I need to subtract 123, my greater number, take away 87. So now I need to solve my 123 minus 87. So I start with my place value chart and I'm going to model 123. 123. Now I need to take away seven ones. Do I have seven ones right now that I could take away? No, I only have three. So how could I get more ones? Great, I'm gonna change a 10 for 10 ones. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I can take away 7 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many do I have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Making sure I'm right. All right, and now I'm going to take away 8 tenths. So I only have 1 ten. So what should I do? Right, I should take 100 and change it for 10 tens. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I need to take away 8. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have one, two, three left, three tenths, and I have no hundreds left. Now I'm going to write my answer. What were we talking about? We were talking about how many seashells she started with. So we have 36 seashells as our answer. What was our number sentence that we used to solve it? 123 minus 87. Great work today. See you tomorrow for Thursday's problem of the day.